Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, welcome to Drinking Bros. Pete Rose, thank you for having How us. How are you guys doing? Been a long time, a year. Great. I, yeah, well, you know, two. last time we were here, I think we gave, it was right before the World Series, Yeah. we gave uh, some World Series predictions. You told us and the crowd, you were like, hey, do not take my predictions. These teams will be out in the first you were, round. You were up on the Braves. Yes. You, like, you like the Braves. Yep. I did, too. We're actually Braves fans. Well, Braves got a good ball club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, last year. They're probably going to miss that third baseman. That's Donaldson, what I think. Yeah. Josh Donaldson. Yeah, yeah that's a tough have loss. Good year, though. They got, you know, the center fielder is a great player. The second Ronald Acuna, yeah. A good oh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be, Freeman's a really yeah. good hitter. Yep. They got some good, real good players. Yeah. Yeah, they got some great talent. I just I saw they signed uh, King Felix yesterday. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Yeah, he um, went for it. He was like... Well, six forty year a, a minor league contract. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So if he if he pitches well, he could help him. Yeah, yeah. and if he he's doesn't, only thirty three. So, so if he can get back to where he once yeah. was, yeah, uh, it's a it's a low risk move for them. It is, yeah, but yeah. it's a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Who cares? And they gave Cole Hamels like eighteen eighteen or million for yeah. a year. Yeah, well, yeah. Cole, Cole that's a good pitch. one. Cole, Cole yeah. he he can pitch. He's yeah, great. He's, is Keiko back there? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they, they're undecided on Keiko right now. I don't know because he didn't even sign until June last year. Yeah, you know what I mean. So he may do that again. Who knows? Like, yeah, he, we'll see what happens with free yeah. agency these days. It's it's gotten to be so wild. Like, who would have thought all those guys would have gone halfway through the season before signing? So I think a lot of players. Well, it's because they, it's probably because most of them were too greedy. Yeah, maybe. You know, I mean, I, you can give me a name of a guy, and I can tell you he's not going to get. Uh, let, let's take uh, Kimbrel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He wasn't going to get what he was asked for for that many years. No. no. For a closer, yeah. I mean, look, for, yeah, for a closer, there, how many closers have been good later in their career? So you well, have he's, he's a bite your your nails closer. Yeah, yeah every he time is he too, goes yeah. out there, he puts a winning run or tying run on base, and your manager you're sitting there biting yeah. your nails. Yeah, how many he clo- did a good job, but uh, as as a former manager, you don't want a guy like that because no. he puts you through hell. Every it's too time much stress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even like, towards the end of the year, he got hurt. Yeah, Cubs didn't hurt, even yeah. make the playoffs. Yeah, which was shocking to yeah, me. Yeah, they they got fucked up on that one. I mean, it was like they they spent. They didn't spend a lot of money on him to get him over there, but they spent some money down the road to get him there, and that yeah, well, you're it is talking what about it is. the Cubs, um, you know, Bryant. Uh, Bryant's a Chris real Bryant, good yeah. young player, but uh, that's another guy who's not going to get what he thinks he's going to get. No, right? You know, I mean, he's a really good player, but uh, MVP. Uh, Chris don't knock in enough runs. No, you know, he had thirty home runs last year or something like that, and only had seventy RBIs. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't have nobody in front of him to get on base. I mean. Joe Madden starts his season by leading off Rizzo. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, put your number one power hitter in the leadoff yeah. spot. Which is crazy. Well, I mean, it's, it it's, crazy. It's, it's all the analytics stuff. Like, yeah, he's got the best on-base percentage, so that means he's going to be teed yeah, up or whatever. Yeah, but if you get him but... on first, you need three hits to score him. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's slow as shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The yeah. analytics there's, there's, no, there's no pinch runner in Major I mean, League I listened baseball, to yeah. Joe Madden last year talk to one of his uh, an interview, and my, my son and I were listening to it, and he talked for 10 minutes about why he hits the pitcher eighth. And when he got through talking, I said, what did he say? Yeah. He's yeah. never explained why did him, Brian Price, and La Russa, the only three managers since 1869, yeah. to hit the pitcher eighth. Well, yeah. La Russa Are all did the it. rest of us wrong? La, La, La Russa <laughs> did it because he thought he had some good hitting pitch. Like, yeah, Brent Ankeel. He had some of those guys that were actually well, good hitting good, pitchers. Put him fourth or fifth. I know. Exactly, right? <laughs> right? Uh, that Otani <laughs> kid, they got him at fourth or fifth, you know? Yeah, but he's, well, he's a, a hitter. He's yeah. different. Yeah, he's what do you hitter. think about this? I want to run this by somebody that knows baseball, and nobody knows it like you. Why don't they have Otani hitting? Why don't they have him as a DH and closer? Like, why are they trying to start him? He has got electric stuff, and out of the bullpen, throwing as hard as he does with that sharp slider and the well, ability to hit we don't know if he's runs. got electric stuff. He had electric stuff in Japan. That's true, yeah. Okay. Now, let me tell you something about Japan baseball. You guys may agree, may, agree, may disagree. When you compare Major League Baseball with Japan, Japanese right. baseball, it's like comparing the CFL with the NFL. It's double-A yeah. baseball over there. Right? So, yeah. why do so many players from here go over there and become stars? Yeah. How many good Japanese players have we had over here? Two. Matsui. Matsui. Well, uh, Matsui Ishiro. And, yeah. now, and now Otani. So yeah. three, really. Well, if Otani's had one year. Yeah. So yeah. Let's so we'll let him see. play four years. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Four or five sure, years yeah. before we say he's a great yeah, player. Yeah. Exactly. Sure. Okay, because I think he's got the potential. Ball away from yeah, him. Yeah, he's sure. trying to run before he hits the ball. He's a power hitter, but he swings like Ishiro. 
Exactly. Ishiro swinged it back like he's running for he hits the ball. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll. I learn. hope Otani does well. Maybe he he'll learn like something nice from uh, Mike Trout and Anthony Rendon, and now they're both. And so it, Those, that could be their three, four, that's five a, guys. That's a pretty plus, good middle of the lineup. Yeah. Plus Pools, he, like he's diminishing his old age, but he had ninety-seven RBI. Well, oh, he still year. knocks it over. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So yeah. it's like. Yeah. And he's, that, he just turned 40, what, a couple weeks ago? Yeah. And the Angels have to be desperate to make the playoffs at this point, right? Like they've well, had, they spend all that money. They've all had, the they spend so much they money. They just don't spend it in the right areas. Yeah. Yeah. Is Joe Mann the answer? If he's the answer, why didn't the Cubs want him anymore? They give him five million yeah. a year for five years. Joe Mann's one of those guys. And he that, won a World Series. He'd been in the playoffs. Why, yeah. didn't they, why didn't they want him back? I don't know. He's one of those guys. And he wins everywhere he goes. He does yeah, win. Even in Tampa. But he, the way he wins, he makes more with less. And I think the Angels, it's an interesting point you made because they don't spend money in the right areas. Yeah. So right. That's, that's a good point. He's the guy to bring into that situation because well, he let can Let me make ask this question. Less. You followed the World Series when the Cubs won, right? Yeah. How many different times did Joe Madden screw up to Game 7 in Cleveland? Four? Uh, I think it was four. Yeah. No, no four. shit. Yeah. Four times. Yeah. He, ESPN did an analysis. And he still like, come out smelling like a rope. Yeah, yeah, no. moves. Look, if you... Winners write the history books. That's how it works, right? <laughs> That's how it works. It happens at war and it happens at sports. This is the way it is. And yeah. I guess I guess Joe wanted to go back there because he spent so many years with the Angels before he went to Tampa. Yeah. yeah. So he has yeah. a little history there. He was a coach yeah. up there he does well. before he was ever a man. Because uh, as, a, as a baseball fan, that's, that's all I am. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I want to see Mike Trout in a World Series. So do I. I want to see Dude, him in the come playoffs. On, He's man. the face Please of the game. get him in the playoffs. Yeah. As a yeah. baseball fan you want your best players to play in yes. the playoffs mm-hmm. that's the like, showcase honestly, of baseball those yeah. those year like that year when uh and say what you want about barry bonds but that year that the giants played the angels in the world series that was amazing one well, of the you best world series. star players uh, it was one of the best be on world stage. Series. yes yes yeah it's just like uh, the pro bowls this week yeah. How do you have a Pro Bowl football a with game the two Super Bowl teams? the two best teams yeah, are don't represented? Have, yeah. Crazy, right? I never understood Couldn't why they did that. Couldn't you have it a year, a, a week after the Super Bowl? I, you know, I think they tried, and what happened was everybody after the Super Bowl was exhausted. They were partying. They were going out, and they said, hey, guys, we're, we're all checked yeah. out of this. So, therefore, the week of, they were losing about 12 players out of that game, and they were like, look, we've got to pin this back before the final week, and – you well, know. I guess they had a good reason. I don't know. Yeah, I it, guess, it is what it so, is. And you can't do it mid-season because of no, potential no, injury and no. shit like that. You're not going to do it with that. Yeah. Uh, oddly enough, today, by the way, Hall of Fame was announced. Uh, I don't know if you saw this about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I did. Derek Jeter and uh, Larry Walker. Walker by six uh, votes. Yes. Jeter wow. got every so vote but one. he was 75.2%. Uh, do you follow that as closely when you as like, everybody else does? Sure I do. When you like, Jeter got every vote but one. Who the when, fuck the guy? Would you like Derek to sit, Jeter, dude. Wouldn't you like to sit down with a guy that didn't vote for Derek Jeter? I think Jeter? they should make it public. They should make it well, public. They, they will. They, so they will. will eventually. It's, yeah. it's, so we'll, it, we'll know who that is. It's just like is. last year, oh, yeah. uh, Rivera become the only guy to get 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay? My, my answer to that was, that's no big deal to me. Because I want to sit down and talk to the guy yeah, yeah. that didn't vote for Willie Mays. Exactly. Did not vote for Stan. Or Nolan usual. Ryan. Did not vote for Hank Aaron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to hear what they got to say. Like, yeah. come on, man. And how do you justify it? How do you why? justify it? How do you justify it? And especially with... How do you justify Tony Perez, who has 1,700 RBIs, but a, having to wait 10 years going to the Hall of Fame? Yeah. 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 And how many World Series was he involved in? He was in a lot. Yeah. A lot? He was a big red yeah. machine. Yeah. Was, yeah. Five. Five, I Five, think, I mean, totally. won yeah. three, right? I mean, we won three, lost two, and I won yeah. one in Philadelphia and lost yeah. one. Yeah. So, so for, he's got he's got 1,700 RBIs, three rings. Close. Yeah, it's, and, it's Larry, it a lot of home runs. Yeah. Uh, one time, on. he had the most home runs for Latino players. He's the only Cuban ever to make the Hall of Fame. Is only this, Cuban. Is that real? Only. How is that possible after all this well, time? Who else are you going to put in there as a Cuban player? That's a good point, I guess. Yeah, because uh, Clemens or it, Clemente was... Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rico. Puerto Rican, yeah. yeah. Puerto Rican, yeah. Tony yeah. Oliva's a Cuban, yeah. but he don't Oliva, quite yeah, but no. he's, he's on the borderline with Dave Parker and Al Oliver. Yeah. They're all about you the think, same. You think some of those guys are going to get in, Parker and, like, middle-of-the-road guys? Well, Fred if I'm Lynn, voting for Dave like Parker, that. he's in. Here's a guy with 2,800 hits, a batting champion, yeah. uh, Golden Glove, MVP, world champion. He was a very underrated player. he was a leader, of a, a leader of a real good team. Yeah. And he really helped me with the young team I had in Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. When he played for me. So, mm-hmm. Dave Parker was uh, – 
you know, he was just a really good baseball player. Who mm-hmm. else is out there? I mean, obviously, other than yourself. I think we'll, Steve Garvey deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. First I base, too, from actually. The Dodgers, yeah. Steve yeah. Garvey uh, got, from the Padres, you know, he's yeah. a 3 iron hitter, a Golden Glover, an MVP, a world champion, uh, 2 iron hits six times. Yeah. He's got good stats, too. He had, he yeah. had a lot better stats than Alan Trammell. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, And after they yeah. put Allen in two, yeah. two uh, years ago, yeah. the Veterans Committee, I thought they overlooked Steve that year. Yeah, and maybe. I'm not against anybody getting in. God bless Alan Trammell. God yeah, bless yeah. Larry Walker. Sure. Okay? I, I'm not even familiar with Larry Walker's stats. Uh, but 280 hitter, I think, over his career. But he played the but majority hit, of it in Colorado. Like 360 home runs, give or take, I right. think, something like that. I, I, Is that I'm, all the home runs he's got? I think so. Let me look. You'd have to have 400. I, he, might have, he might have just crossed four towards the end. But to me, again, it's sad well, they because— just start, They just started talking about Larry Walker the last couple of weeks. Yeah, because they don't have anybody left. Like, yeah, and they it, were it was talking sad to, to me because you're not in there. about another guy. What's your opinion of this guy? All right, Kurt Schilling, does he have Hall of Fame stats? Yes. And he, he got, does? He got 60% of the vote. I, I think he does. He's got 200 wins. Yes. What's, there's guys with 300. Well, I think in today's era, right, there isn't a lot of guys that can even get to 200 anymore. Yeah, but why Jim Cott's got 272 with 16 straight golden gloves, and he can't get a smell. He d- yeah. What about this guy? He deserves it, too. That's a good point. Wins. So how do you how do Okay, you here's a guy I'll give you. 270-some wins. I believe he's got 270-some. And they named it Procedure after him. Called Tommy, Tommy John. Tommy John, yeah. <laughs> how come yeah. he's not in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. All those guys should be. Why are they so strict with the amount of people they let in in the voting is what I don't well, understand. Well, it's because there's only so many votes, and you have to get X percent of the vote. You, well, no, you get 10 I, votes per card, right? Real quick. Okay. You got to hold that up. There here, here, here's, here's a ballot. This is a ballot right here. I'm drawing a square. Okay. Okay. There's one through 10 spaces. Yep. If you put my name in number one and his name in number three and yeah. his name in number four, we all got one vote. Yeah. So there it's not, never it's will not be, weighted, is what right. you're saying. There right. never will be and never has been a situation when there was more than 10 guys deserving of going into the Hall of Fame. But baseball's got this thing about it where they only want one or two or three guys to go in every year. So the voters will look at the ballot and they'll say, oh, I'll put this guy in this year, this guy next year. Oh, I'll wait for next year for this guy. I'll wait for next year for this guy. Who gives a damn if there's eight guys that go into the Hall of Fame? That's what is I understand. Is everybody in a hurry? You eat Subway every day? Why aren't you getting a sponsorship deal with Subway? What's that? <laughs> what are these assholes <laughs> problem? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love Subway. You got to eat fresh. Uh, before we, we uh, went to break, we were talking about Dale Murphy, guys who haven't gotten in. Um, yeah, guys who are close. Because Murphy, well, very, very close. Mur- Murphy's got there's, there's, similar let me, let me stats. There's, there's a lot of really, really good players. And Dale Murphy was a really, really good player. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. And he's a really, really, really great guy. Yes. Okay, I know Murphy real well. But there's, there's guys that just come up a little short because of longevity. And, and one of the criteria for the Hall of Fame is longevity. Right. And, you know, Murph don't quite have 400 home runs. He's at uh, 398, yeah. Well, yeah. 500 is like a plateau. Yeah. And yeah. 3,000 hits is like a yeah. plateau. And he's got 12, 55 RBIs, 1,500 is another plateau. Yeah, 17, 1,800 yeah. RBIs I mean, is like a plateau. The lower end, I think the – I don't know what the lowest and Hall of Famer is, but like, it's somewhere like around there. There's been guys that's been put in the Hall of Fame in the last – seven, eight years, uh, with 22, 2,300 hits. Mm-hmm. Edgar Martinez. Yeah. It was DH. because he was a they, DH, yeah. He, he was, was a, a good hitter. He, he was the hitter. first one they judged as solely a DH. He was a one-dimensional player. Well, he they had hit. to because that's Poppy's it. right around the corner. Yeah, that's okay. why. That is actually, that's absolutely why. I find why it hard happened. for a guy to make the Hall of Fame with 23, 2,350 hits. Well, what do you say about a guy like Fred Especially McGriff? Especially a guy who plays 18 years. Yeah. What do you say about a guy like Fred McGriff who's got 493 home runs? He was like a, he got Crime Dog was a hell of a hitter, too. He got yeah. 493, and you're not going to put him in the Hall of Fame? There's a lot or? of arguments for Fred McGriff. Uh, you know, another guy that's got good stats, I think, is the, the second baseman to play for the Giants. Um, oh. Jeff Kent. Yes. Jeff yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he is the best hitting, second other baseman. than Stan Musial, in the modern era, he's the best hitting second baseman of all time. Like, well, honestly. Well, Joe Morgan was pretty good. but Kemp Well, pow- good power, power numbers-wise. Yeah, yeah. Power a really numbers good wise, player. Yeah. But uh, Joe Morgan you was put, better than pretty I good. believe <laughs> you put so many guys in the Hall of Fame, and I'm not going to name them, that don't belong in the Hall of Fame. Right. And that's why you can put anybody in. No one says anything. Yeah, right. It's true. See, because I, most of the voters 
uh, you could ask them, what's the criteria to go to the Hall of Fame? They, they wouldn't be able to tell you. There's no single definition yeah. for that. Right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Where it used to be five or an home runs, 3,000 yeah. hits, you're automatic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because like, the only guy that's got 3,000 hits that's not in the Hall of Fame is Palmero. Mm-hmm. Well, he's got both. He's so got five there's, actually, there's actually two. steroids there's, caught him. There's two guys. Oh. You're the other one. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, no, I got 4,000. I don't have 3,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. There it is. But Pete that's, Rose, but that's you know, that's fine. But uh, would I like to make the Hall of Fame? Damn right, I'd like to make the Hall of Fame because you want to be appreciated for what you did. But I'm not going to go to bed every night the rest of my life and pray that I make the Hall of Fame. No one can take 4,000 hits away from that. you. I know that. Ever. I got all the records. But here's, uh, here's the other and thing. And I bet on my own team to win. So That's what I, I was going to say. I didn't say. do what steroid did, uh, guys or did. Or you didn't have like, buzzers you, underneath your jersey because a lot of that has come up that's, this week. And that's your what name, I wanted to lead into. Yeah. Your name has been trending on the top of Twitter say, all play, week. If I'd have played for the Astros, I'd have got 5,000 hits. Uh, easily. <laughs> easily. But let me tell you guys one thing, okay? Uh, all a pitcher tries to do to a hitter is keep him off stride. Yeah, trick you, yeah. Okay. So if I got a sign that I'm going to give you that tells you a changeup is coming, one thing you're never going to be is off stride. You're not going to be on your right. front foot. Right. You're not going to be on your front foot. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. And Which means you still have, not, if, not only do you see the ball and hit it better. Hitter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And you're the pitcher. And you got a fastball, a slider, and a changeup. Yep. And you're going to go up. And he's and you're gonna, he's going to guess hit off you. Yep. He's going to say I'm looking for a curveball, mm-hmm. and you throw a curveball. He'll hit a rope somewhere. Yep. Yeah. But when you're giving someone the signs electronically, every pitch he's looking for, you're not guessing. It's real. Mm-hmm. It's, it's real. Gonna be there. So that so guys like if not, they tell you a changeup's coming, then you know a changeup's coming. Yeah. yeah. So you not have to worry about the fastball. Not, o- not only are you going to be on time and hit the ball, but you're going to hit it with more power because you're not yeah, on your front foot. Yeah, because all the Houston players were never off strike. Yeah. Yeah. They strike out because and they the, swing at bad pitches. And there were some big home runs hit in critical situations. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's part of the game, but uh, it's not stealing the, signs it's, is it's part of the game the same for sure. As me yeah, yeah. In the dugout. Managing the Reds, trying to steal the signs from the third base coach. Yeah, right. yeah. I want to know the steal sign. I want to know the hit and run sign. Yeah, yeah. I want to know the squeeze bunt sign. And if that guy's stupid enough not to change his indicator, yeah. if the guy's on second, the catcher's not stu- is he too yeah. stupid to change his indicator, right. then I'm going to know the pitch is coming. Yep. When I played, I never wanted anybody on second base to tell me what was coming. Because that's not the hitter you were. No, he, he yeah. might think it's going to be a slider low and away, and it might be a sinker up and in. Mm-hmm. Now, me thinking low and away, is I'm just going to get hit right in the ribs now because right. he threw a sinker up <laughs> You're and gonna in. You're going to lean in, yeah. So if he's not 100% right, I don't want to know. Yeah. I don't want to know. Tony Gwynn was the same way. So some catchers in baseball used to tell Tony Gwynn what pitch was coming because they wanted to fuck it's, with his it head. It screwed you up. Yeah. yeah. I, it happened to me one like, time in, uh, in Philadelphia. Because it all really? happened from brain to hands with you guys. I, I come up to bat one time. My Gene Mock's the manager. This is a true story. And Shay Crawford's umpire. And Mike Ryan's catching. <laughs> and I go step in the box first time up. Mike says, Gene told me to tell you what's coming. He said, here comes a curve. Here comes a here comes a fastball. Here comes a changeup, and he, everyone he told me, I turned around to Shaggy. He said, "Shaggy, tell him to shut up. I don't want to know." <laughs> he said, "He's not breaking the rules." So three times up, he told me every pitch that was coming. Okay, so finally we got a man on first, top of the ninth at Old Connie Mech Stadium. Mm-hmm. Scores tie one one. He said, "I'm going to throw you a curveball." I stepped out of the box. I wasn't a guest hitter. I stepped back in. He says, "I'm still going to throw you a curveball." And I said to myself, "I'm going to look for a curveball." So I looked for a curveball, and I hit the sun bitch off the scoreboard. Okay? <laughs> we won the game 2-1. to one. Next day, we got some pregame rain, no batting practice. I come up to bat. I hit the plate first time up. I look back say, hey, Mike, how you doing? He said, Mock told me to tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, how that's long great. it lasted. I fucking love baseball. That's how long it lasted. There's, there's no other sport on earth that that carries the character and the interpersonal relationships and the and the the rivalries like baseball from you like think about a guy like greg maddox we've talked about this on our show before he would pitch to a guy thinking about how he's going to pitch to him three months from now in another series that's you don't you don't see that in any other sport ever it's called setting him up yeah yeah you don't ever see that and and it's the same with the interpersonal relationships but here's what maddox and other guys did other great pitchers okay i tell this to young kids a lot a lot of pitchers today are stupid, okay? What I mean by that is they get you 0-2. You know, they got a great fastball, great slider. 
They get you 0-2, they'll throw a change-up curveball. I'm, I'm going to waste and the And you hit it out of the ballpark. Yeah. When you get a guy 0-2, 1-2, and you've got to put that son of a bitch in your back pocket. Mm. Get him out. Yeah. Always get him out with your best pitch. Okay? Yeah. If ever you're a hit of a hitter, never come with your third or fourth best pitch. There's, there's no pitcher. There's a reason why you have the best pitch. Yeah, there's no that's good. That's when you get him out there's with. There's no oh, good yeah. pitching coach that would tell you to go with your third or fourth best pitch. To, why catchers yeah. call that? I have no idea why they do that. Yeah. If but I, get, if but I, you, get, you I got a, a great fastball and I get you 0-2, mm-hmm. why don't I want to throw a changeup? But you've, you've got a different mindset than a lot of people out there these days. Not just these days, but even when you played. Like, there's a quote about you. And it says, no one's ever done more in professional sports with less than Pete Rose. Yeah. Like, you're not six foot three, 250-pound well, fucking stud but athlete. I, one thing but I you had, had there, 4,200 hits. One thing I had that everybody else has that plays in the big leagues. Hmm? I had had eye coordination. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and okay. good eyesight. I had so those two eyesight. things, yeah. yeah. Did you ever see my girlfriend? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you got to have hand eye coordination, and you got to use the whole field. Yeah. You know, if I was playing today, I think it's safe to say just the way I hit the ball in these ballparks they're playing in today. Oh, you'd be hitting mm-hmm. 25 home I, runs I a year. 25 home yeah, runs. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. Most I ever hit was Because you just got to put the barrel on the fucking ball at you this point. You can hit line drive yeah. home runs, too. Yeah. Yep. They don't hit to be tape measure Yankee home Stadium runs. Yankee Stadium and right field. If you played Tank in Mary League. never hit a tape measure home run. He got 755 of them. Yeah. He hit 40 home runs twice and never hit yeah. fewer than 20 for 16 straight years. That's how he made that record. It's consistency and longevity, like you said. Good. I mean, Hank was really good. Yeah. And, and, the wrist and Hank was one of those guys that he, he would be fooled on his front foot, but he wasn't fooled with his hands. It was all on the wrist for that guy. His man, hands man. were always back. He is so, so strong. He'd still be fooled, hit off your front foot if you got... The, the, the bat still cocked. Oh, yeah. And Hank always had the bat cocked. Mickey yeah. was the same way. Yes. Like, he just had those but strong forearms. But Mickey was more wide out. Yeah. Wide true. Stance. Yeah, he did. That's yeah, true. He didn't really stride that much. So well, let me Mickey, wasn't a, 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 Mickey wasn't a really a good hitter. He was a good power hitter. Oh, a great power hitter. Yeah, but you know, not again. Another five earned home run guy. Yeah. What, what do you think should happen with these Astros, the, the manager, the players? Uh, I, like, well, I look at Altuve. Like, he could be up for the Hall of Fame. How after Not what, yet, you, what, what you've done? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know because it's it's a really a it's really a rough situation to put the commissioner in. Yeah, man. Because under a lot who of does he right pick now. out? Who he's going to find? And he knows that all of that is th- going to be fallout for I major league baseball I think too. It's, it's it's I don't know what the word is, but you got this manager got fired, this manager got fired, this manager got fired, and this general manager got fired. So Hensky okay? and the yeah. and the general manager of Astros yeah. and then Joy Cora. Got fired. Right. Red Sox. Yeah, and then, and then Beltron. Beltron. Beltron and the Mets. Yeah. So three managers and one general yep. manager got fired. Yep. Okay? And when you stole the signs of game to whoever you gave them to, who benefited? The hitter. The, hitter. the players, yeah. yeah. No hitters got fined or anything. I've yet. been Not saying yet. this for ever since this story broke. I'm like, if A.J. Hensky is getting banned for a year, Jose Altuve needs to be banned for a year. Not not for receiving the sign, well, but have, because of the other stuff. How do you say Jose Altuve on. didn't do it and M- Mookie Betts didn't do it? I know. You right? can say Mookie Betts did it, and J.D. Martinez didn't do it. Exactly, yeah. See, that's, like, who what, knows? That's, the, that's the problem the commissioner's having. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, look. Tough unless choice. someone comes out and really verifies that he had the, t- the, the, the buzzer. Yeah. Or well, he really, uh, well ver- nobody knows inside the clubhouse better than you. Don't mm-hmm. you think all the players secretly know who and what well, this person I don't th- did? I don't think you're stealing signs uh, for hitters and for the Astros or Red Sox that the other players don't know. Yeah. So There's let's no just wait a while, and there'll be a couple players get traded, and be pissed off at this or team, retire or whatever. And the they, fuck, they yeah. can't wait to spill their guts. Yeah. But everybody right now online is saying, "List, look, Pete Rose didn't steal any signs. No, Pete he didn't use any buzzers. Pete Rose. Why isn't he in the Pete, Hall of Fame? Pete Rose bet on his own team to win. Actually, you made a you you said something one time. I think it was in the God in the early two thousands. You were like, "I bet on my own team to win every goddamn night." I did. Yeah, like every night. Well, you know, I was wrong. Okay, let's get that of straight. Of course, but, I was wrong. But, but if you think situation. about it, if you think about it, if you're in Baltimore, if you're in Boston, if you're in L.A., if you're in Atlanta, you should want your manager to bet on his team every night. Yeah. So what's he going to do? I agree do? with you. He's going to do everything he can to win the game. Mm-hmm. I think it's one of those. But, but I broke the rules, so it wasn't right. Right. But but it's like it's kind of like weed. Everybody was smoking weed way before it got legal. Well, it's just you know what like, I mean? It's just like <laughs> <clears throat> if we're getting ready to watch a Kentucky Derby. <laughs> right. And you're betting on number three, and the jockey's betting on number three. 
I'm happy about that. Yeah, that's. But now if the jockey's betting on number four, I'm not happy about that. Oh yeah, but it's it's the letter of the law versus the intent, right? So the letter the letter of the law says don't bet in any sporting event you're involved in, yeah. and the but the intent is. I know what the rule is. I the, broke him. I yeah, was wrong. But the intent is that you don't want the integrity of the outcome of the game to be affected. If the manager or player of the team is betting on himself to do well. That is not affecting the integrity of the game. It's promoting it, if anything, I'll, right? I'll tell you guys a couple of things that you don't know, that you don't realize. Uh, me making this mistake I made probably cost me $90 million. Okay? That's what it probably cost Yeah, I cost can see me. that, yeah. Okay? I'm from Cincinnati. The Reds play on Pete Rose Way. Mm-hmm. I've been suspended 30 years. And you're not allowed in the ballpark? I've never been in the Reds clubhouse. Yeah. Never allowed to go in the Reds batting cage underneath the stadium. Never been in either one of those in places. 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. So one and of they the, play on Pete Rose Way. One of the greatest baseball minds in history is not involved in major baseball. you I can't help young players in a batting cage? Yeah. Yeah. They, the baseball treats me like I'm Al Capone. It's crazy. Have you ever had a conversation with the current commissioner? Yes. He's a good guy. And what's, what's he, his... He does what's, seem like a good guy. Yeah, but, but what has he said to you? Like, hey, man, eventually I will overturn this. Well, I got scared and... when I got in front of him because he asked me, do you still bet? And I said, no. And when he come back, left the room and he come back, I said, I want to rephrase that. I still do bet, but I never bet illegally anymore. I live in Las Vegas. See, I don't think there's anything wrong with me being 78 years old. You know, I want to bet on a hockey game tonight. Mm-hmm. It I makes the game it. more I go exciting. Home and watch it. Yeah, that's yeah. my entertainment. Sure. Yes. Okay, there's a hell of a lot more behind me that's in front of me. Okay. And if I want to bet on a baseball game, am I hurting you? Am I hurting him? Am I hurting her? I'm, it's my enjoyment. And by the way, we bet I all don't the time. Bet on, the I don't bet on anything I can't watch. Okay? No, we we actually do that. So games that are that we don't really give a shit about, we'll bet on them to make ourselves give a shit about that game. Just watch them. Yeah. You know what I mean? You guys know that there's. 30 managers in baseball. Mm-hmm. Right. Do you know that every night, 15 minutes for the game, the manager has to email his lineup to the commissioner's office? You know what the commissioner does with it? Mm-mm. Emails it to the MGM Grand. Really? That's a fact. Cause so, so they can set the, set the spot. Right, so no yeah. one can get screwed in, 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 in the casinos. <laughs> Yeah. Like you might say Scherzer's pitching, and all of a sudden he scratches. Right. Yeah. 15 minutes for every game. So what I'm hearing is that Major League Baseball likes gambling when it benefits them. Well, it's but, money. But it's all about money. From a PR yeah. perspective, yeah. they try to distance yeah. themselves. So they're hypocrites. Well, I, I remember one time when all the sports betting game came around that the commissioner of the basketball says, hey, I hope guys take their phones to the to games and bet during the game. Because they're all getting a percentage of it. So yeah. we're, we're really close to that now. NFL just signed a deal with Caesars. Yeah. Caesars Palace is going to be the, the gam, official gambling app for the NFL yeah. because of the, the Raiders. How about this one? we got a new stadium going up here, yeah. $1.7 billion. Okay? <laughs> Isn't that Inside crazy? the stadium is going to be a window to make bets on the game. Oh, yeah. shit. They're going to have a, key, a betting kiosk in the game? Yeah. Inside the game. the game. Oh, well, well, it's Vegas. Of course they're going to do that. Well, could you imagine? Well, it's, it's not a game with casino. It's a stadium. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Can you imagine 70,000 people going to every game on Sunday? How many people are going to bet on the game? Living uh, every and dying single on every them. single play, too. Especially, I mean, yeah. especially if they open up the prop bets, like halftime scores. Sure they will. Like if, they if, will you, yeah. if you open up the prop bet and say you can bet on the second half, all those drunk people at the fucking Raiders games here in Vegas are going to be betting oh. that second half bet for sure. But it's fun for everybody. So it is fun. Yeah, I don't yeah, give who a cares? shit. We yeah. gamble every single week. Yeah, so we, we have a sponsor called my, MyBookie.com, right? Um, yeah. Again, once the Supreme Court le- legalized sports gambling across the United States, you can do it from your phone What's anywhere. 19 states now? Uh, 50 now. 50? All, all 50, yeah. So you can do it from your phone. You can do it from uh, your app, and they update it every quarter. Well, so if I you was, want to bet on if, quarters, if you can I bet on quarters. I was day like I did, I didn't do anything wrong because uh, my problem was I used a bookmaker. Yeah, yeah know, nowadays, right? nowadays you don't need a bookmaker. So stupid. So everything's legal. Yeah. So stupid. It doesn't exist anymore. But, uh, let me tell you one thing. If I'm managing the res, which I did, uh, and this 15 minutes for the game, I don't want to have to worry about emailing my lineup to Major League Baseball. I'm yeah, worried about the guy warming up and getting ready to play the game. That's mm-hmm. weird. It's weird it that they weird. require yeah. that. But that's the rule. It is. Well, the rules are like like I was talking about before, the letter versus the intent of the law. Now, 
let's talk about the intent because if the intent is to protect the integrity and Eric Hens- or Hensky gets uh, booted and the GM gets booted, Cora gets booted and fucking uh, Beltran. Beltran gets booted, what happens to these players now? What do you think should happen to these players? Oh, I don't know. If I, if that's a good question. I can't answer it because I just think it's it's a real jackpot that Commissioner Manfred's in. I kind of feel for uh, yeah. I mean, I like, feel for him because he's, he's in a position where he's got to save. I don't know what right I don't now. know what the guy can do because who do you, who do you de- who do you determine who you're going to find? Yeah. Unless you know that so and so and so and so and so and so did signs. And right. by the way, Hinch t- twice took the bat to the machine. Yeah, yeah. And so destroyed there was a, it. There was a monitor, but his problem and, yeah. was. He didn't make the players stop it. We, we he just, knew it, but he didn't make them stop we, it. We had this and when you're manager of a baseball yeah. team, you're the rules. Yep. And if you tell them to stop it, they stop it. Yeah. I'm, That's why he got fired. I'm feeling pretty good right now because I said the exact same thing a week ago. Yeah, Dan's I'm been like, on fire about this. I, it, I hate it. It's like if you're Eric Hensky. Who would you find? Everyone. Everyone yeah. involved in it. That I could yeah, prove but how you know involved. who's involved Exa- Well, it's true. Then That opens the whole can of worms. Like You have to start getting players to testify against each other, which is – Reminder if, if, how if you this find all Bregman and Altuve, uh, you what about, Stan, what you about Springer? Springer, well, yeah. Springer. And Why then, should he be fine if he didn't do it? It's true. That's true. I mean, that that brings to mind the Shoeless Joe Jackson thing, right? Yeah. Because typically the Black Sox uh, era, most people think that Jackson. Well, he had a great series first of all. Three seventy. Yeah, mm-hmm. three seventy. But his problem, wait, no, no, his problem was. I don't. I don't know what he what he went into the series mentally. Mm. He hit three seventy, but he took the money to throw the game. It's true. He and took he, the money. Yeah. All right. And then that's sure. that's the crime right there. Yeah. Like not that he hit three seventy. And he was planning on fucking over the New York mob, by the way, or the Chicago mob by doing that, which is kind of a bold move. That's why his his situation's. Not even close to my situation. No, it's not. No. And I hate it when no. people compare me no, no, and Joe you. Jackson. Not you, but like he was a guy that was like he wasn't as involved as everybody else. Right. But I'm thinking about Hensky. So he technically he wasn't as involved because he wasn't doing it. He wasn't involved, but he let it. Well, happen. it's hard to be involved in stealing signs when you're managing a, a game. Yeah, there's too much going on. You got to watch every pitch. You got to be, you know, giving signs and worried about going out to argue on a play. Right. You know, you're not down underneath the tunnel. No, you can't. You be. know, when a guy's. Hitting a buzzer because yeah. the changeup's coming, yeah. <laughs> but I mean that. I mean, like, what is it? Well, let's talk. Will about they that. ever manage again? You think him and no, Cora? No. no way. No. Nope. Nope. And here's. Well, well, why do guys who take steroids get get to play a, a, a baseball after they suspended eighty games? It's a good question, isn't it? It's a great question. Well, no way. It's like it's like uh, the first offense is like fifty, then eighty, then a whole season, and then banned for life, right? Okay. Like yeah. The four yeah. Games, I guess. yeah. Nobody had that yet, though. Not yet. Not yet. I we're, mean, I, uh, we're close. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're getting some, close. It'll happen to somebody. I think talent sure. uh, outweighs managers. I think Major League Baseball knows they can make more off the talent on the field versus sure. the manager. Sure. Because let's face it, Hensky goes away forever. The fans aren't paying for Hensky. The fans aren't showing up betting on Hensky. Yeah, but he was a good manager. He was a good manager, and that's fine. But you still want to see your superstars. You got, play. You got rid of two managers. You got two. You got men. You got rid of two managers that both won World Series. Yeah. yeah. But to me, if I'm paying for a manager, I want a character like Pete Rose on the sidelines and be like, all right, great. That's why, if, as a fan, that's why I'm paying Well, Houston see. probably got Hench and, and, and Cora probably went to Boston because they were low salaried managers. Yeah. Yep. I agree with that. Yeah. It's a little different bringing Girardi yeah. in. They're yeah. also, they're also or quiet. bringing Dusty Baker in. They're also quiet guys who aren't going to cause the GM problems. Correct. You know what I mean? Correct. Like, if, if you're going to hire Bill Parcells and you don't make him general manager. Well, gonna, there's going to be a problem. I know one thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, one thing is pretty sure that it's clear that Houston didn't cheat this year because no. they, did, they did not win a home game. No. Yeah. Wild, right? Well, the first weren't the first first four games all road. All wins? seven. All seven road all teams seven. lost. Jesus Christ! Yeah. That's crazy. That's is that or the first me. time that's all ever happened? seven home teams yeah, yeah. Lost. lost. Is that the yeah. first time that's ever happened? Ever happened? Ever happened? Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah ever happened in the history of the league. Uh, I want to touch on something you just said about uh, baseball managers having to email lineups. NFL has to do the same thing, but they're getting fined. So if they don't disclose an injury before the game starts. Or if starts, they mischaracterize an injury. Correct. They're they getting get fined, fined yeah. massive amounts of money. And it's simply for gambling. Well, yeah, but they, yeah. Say, they say it so the other teams have. A g- you can look on your phone right now tonight in basketball. Mm-hmm. Is uh, George doubtful? Is George going to play? Yeah. Game time decision? Yeah. 
What do you think all that's for? Yeah, it's for gambling. No shit. <laughs> but, really? But the, but the leagues, the leagues say it so the other teams can prepare accordingly. But it's I understand. It's that. obviously for gambling. I understand that. Like, because you prepare for the team you're going to play. Even if, let's say, you're talking about football, right? Mm-hmm. And it's the Kansas City Chiefs, and McCole Harbin's probably not going to play, or whatever the fuck. Tyreek Hill. Yeah, but no. you still prepare. Like, you don't. Even if he's not going to play, or even if he is going to play, you have to prepare for the, the eventuality that they're not going to use him that much in the game. Yeah, you still have to prepare your offense, right? Like it's maybe, like, I maybe last night. I mean, just for, I didn't do anything with it, but uh, the Lakers played Boston. Yes. Okay. Davis is coming back. Mm-hmm. Okay, so everybody's betting. No, Davis came back. Yeah. He played twelve minutes. Yeah. Exactly. That's it. That was it. Scored seven points, and they got crushed. Lakers got by crushed. thirty-two. Yeah, thirty-two. Yeah. To yeah. so the Celtics. Um, that was Kimba Walker's first time beating LeBron James. Twenty eight times, whole twenty eight times, and then and then yeah. tonight you have a similar situation where it's Zion's first game tomorrow night. High, uh, yeah, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. First night. career game. The, yeah. When this airs, it'll be then. But uh, first career game, couldn't be more excited. He's going to play no fifteen way. minutes, maybe. Yes. Right? What do you think? Fifteen tops, he'll play. That's it. But people like, are going to be betting on the Pelicans tomorrow. Yeah. So uh, but, it's strange. It's strange. Uh, me, I don't know. I don't know why these sports. Just don't understand that we live in a gambling world. It's going to happen one way or the other. It's part of the So I think they are starting to understand we might as well buy into it and make the money like everybody else. But that's why I think you're going to get in sooner than people think. That's just my guess. Well, sooner than people think. It's been 30 years. I mean, <laughs> but, but gambling hasn't yeah, been legalized that's only, that's for a year only and a half about now. a year and a half yeah. now. So I, I think it's going to become so prevalent. And again, like you said, going to the Raiders games. Betting at halftime. People waiting for beer, that line's going to be short compared to people betting on the second half at yeah. these Raiders games. That's all going to change. And it's the same thing with history. They look back and they say, all right, great. Here was a guy who bet on his own team to They'll win. Probably be That's having not a big deal anymore. Our, our breaks in between halves now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only here, though. Yeah, exactly. Only here. Uh, only here. Uh, are you looking forward to the Raiders coming? Because obviously that's going to be a, a no, lot of First of all, I'm, I'm a John Gruden fan, but I'm not a Raider fan. Who's your uh, team? I don't have a team because my team sinks. The Bengals, they stink. But they're going to get uh, Joe Burrow They're going to get Burrow. They're going to get Burrow. Well, who's going to block for him? That's true. Mm, who's going to catch for him? <laughs> Mixon <laughs> mix will catch yeah. balls in the flat. AJ Green know, is still AJ, there. AJ Green is still there, yeah. I'm not, I'm not so surprised. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and get one of those. Uh, Rivers or, or somebody like that, and, well, and get to Brady's take the guy from Ohio State. Now, do you know? Yeah. Do you know the big fight with Cowboy and uh, the guy on Saturday night? McGregor. Yeah, yeah we, we were at the fight. Cerrone, yeah. We were at, we're at the, the fight. fight yeah. All right, you saw Brady there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know who he was with? John Gruden yep. and uh, Mr. Davis, the owner yeah, of the Al Raiders. Davis, yeah. yeah, and they showed him around town. Yeah, and, we, and he just sold his house. And, and now he uh, moved to Greenwich. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what do you think is going on there? Well, interestingly uh-huh. enough, after the fight happened, I hope he comes to Vegas. Dana That'd be White, great. Dana White said he's either going to the Raiders or he's going back to the Patriots, and I, I can tell you because I was at ringside with him. Yeah, I that I, would be. I great. cannot believe that Mr. Kraft would have let that guy leave Boston. Me neither. What he's done for that franchise, how much money he's made, Bob Kraft. It's almost like letting Cal Ripken. They should give him a blank check. Yep. It's almost like letting Cal Ripken go to the Yankees or some shit. Like, you just right can't let that, that happen, man. Yeah. And, and, and he's took a lot less money the last two or three years to stay underneath the cap. Mm-hmm. But there again, he can do that because he's got a wife that makes $50 million a year. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're fine. The Brady family's fine. And I, don't, I never read where Tom Brady was any kind of gambler or anything. No. So I don't understand why he wanted to come here. You know, he, he wants, wants to get close to L.A. Yeah, and he, he, wants, he wants to win one without Belichick. Why That's a big deal. Close to LA? Because his TB12 brand, the food and the lifestyle bullshit, is all tied into L.A. Like Correct. Mindset. And they want to go Hollywood he, with what's it. What's he trying to become a billionaire? I mean, yeah, how I guess, much money yeah. do you need? I, asked, I said, oh God, can, you, you, want to live can your you say that again? How much money do you need, really? Don't like, you want to live your life you and really have fun? Need? You got young kids, beautiful wife. So does he. He's got He's got like a five and three year old or some shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a bunch of kids. Uh, let me ask you this. Is he the greatest player ever? He's got the greatest coach ever. Is he the greatest ever. football ever? Is he the greatest football player ever? He's no, got Jim, the Bra- coach Jim ever. Brown is the best football player ever, in okay. my opinion. All right. I lean so is he the greatest quarterback ever? No. Uh, Montana. Tom Brady? Yeah. I, go to, I still yes. go Montana. You? No, Tom Brady's the best quarterback ever. Uh, all right, who do you got? What about he, Drew Brees? Drew so, Brees is great. He's got all the, the playoffs. Yeah. 
He's got all the records. But not, in the, not in the playoffs. Did you so. bet on him? Because we bet That's on him year. a couple weeks ago. He's got the records for touchdowns and records for yardage. He does, but he's only got one Super Bowl, and that's that's a tough one to well, swallow. Dan Marino don't have any. I know. Yeah. And Marino's, Dan Marino's in the top You can't talk five. about Super Bowls because Brady's got the most. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got Montana, and you got Terry Bradshaw. Bradshaw yeah. four, yeah. Yeah. So it's hard. You think Jim Brown, huh? I really do because, like, wh- wh- I guess it depends on what your criteria is, though. For me, it's people who change the game. Like, I think Steph Curry and Michael Jordan are the two best, and, and LeBron James are the three best basketball players of all time. Steph Curry's the best shooter. He's the best shooter. But Pure shooter, yeah. 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 So I, so that's. Is he a better shooter than Thompson? Than Clay Thompson? Boy, I'd love to see Over, the two of them. Overall, go yes, on it. but in streaks, no. Like, if, if Clay's hot, there's no human being hotter than him. Yeah. Not even close. But if. And Curry can uh, his consistency is so good. You got. Oh, well, I love Steph Curry. He's he's, yeah. he's good. He's, but I think like he he was a game changer. Stepping back to twenty eight and thirty feet and shooting the ball changed the game. Jim Brown. Well, the guy that changed changed the game was Dirk. Dirk. Well, yeah, he's got all big the, man shooting. He's got yeah. all the seven footers. He created shooting. the stretch four. Yeah, for sure. And then and then for uh, you know, for Jim Brown, he changed the way running backs ran. Yeah. Yeah. And then OJ came after him, and OJ did that shit, and then OJ. everybody else. You, know you run I mean? into OJ out here? You're in Vegas. No, never. Yeah. Yeah. Were you I friends like with him before? I've been with him before. Yeah. I used to go to all the Dolphin games, sit in the Hooters box with him. Really? He was a great guy. Yeah. Great guy. He was. He was a great guy. I don't know what he did. Uh, but I, I know OJ taking pictures with everybody, holding babies, mm. yeah. being nice to everybody in the box. When that came out, I said, now nah, I went OJ. You know, the window way he acted. But I guess women can make you crazy. Oh, they do all the time. Ask Dan about that. <laughs> there was a girl who drove 13 hours to go to his house. That's true. <laughs> That's absolutely true, yeah. We, we, we shutting her down and getting ready to close. Yeah, I got yeah. one more question for you, Bo. What is um, it? Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Super Bowl's coming up. We got Chiefs. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we, we have the best offense against the, first, the best defense in the 49ers. Spread is minus one. Over under is fifty six. Who you got in that? Every time I come out here, we always well. If I if I bet the, if I bet the game today, I would bet Kansas City. Mm. Same. I just, McCombs is just unbelievable, and he's got a lot of weapons. Mm. Yeah, and I the Forty Nine ers won a, a championship game the other day and threw the ball seven times. Yeah, <laughs> that's on. They're going to have to throw it against McCombs. Oh yeah, because you're not going to be, because there's no way. What did right? what did, what did uh, <laughs> What did Kansas City do the other day to uh, Henry? Got 69 yards. Yeah. So they're not going to be able to run the ball, San Francisco I'm talking about, against Kansas City like they did against uh, uh, Green Bay. And that guy's – Green Bay had no pass. No, 49 They had no rushing of the defense. Running back is a backup. I mean, he's good. He's really good. But Set a record. Just he had 206 yards. Yeah, yeah. 220 uh, most. Are, and then, uh, but I will say this: Coleman is out with a shoulder Kevin injury. Coleman, yeah. They're saying he might be back uh, for the the game yeah. itself. My thing is this: if you know the team's going to run, same way with Henry in, in the last game, and they were able to shut him down, what's to prevent that in the Super Bowl? I, like to me, I'm all in on the Chiefs on the Super Bowl. High scoring. Uh, yeah, we I got the over. Think the over, yes. I, I've got the Chiefs by ten, and I think I, I I honestly think the over should be closer to sixty than fifty four. I've got a thirty five twenty six or whatever it is. Yes, it's good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs> it's every gonna, time I'm you know. You I owe you. I know. The last time hey, we guys, did the show. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah, yeah, last we time we did the show, it. I picked the World Series winner, and yeah. you, you came back and you were like, "Hey, man, give me the tip next year." <laughs> <laughs> the tip is the Chiefs this year, Pete. Continue yeah. success, guys. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, it, thanks, it was man. a pleasure. Uh, for Pete Rose, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, I am Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good nights, everyone. <laughs>